uh, came, established the beginnings of what would be a, the success of the revolution uh, and the establishment of a democratic republic. Uh, it was from this city that the first international air flight occurred 99 years ago this year uh, from Key West to Havana. Uh, it was in this city uh, when in the early 1960s uh, the first, first line of defense uh, against uh, a nuclear uh, missile Cuba uh, was here uh, in Key West. Uh, the perseverance of the people of Cuba over that long span of time uh, to achieve, maintain, not only liberty and freedom, but also fundamental human values. It was in this very place that the first bilingual, racially integrated school in the state of Florida uh, opened. Uh, it was a place where Jose Marti was able to express one of his fundamental beliefs, and that was the same belief that Thomas Jefferson had for the United States, which is that for a people to be free, they must first be educated. And this became a center of education, not only for the children who benefited in this place, but the many tens of thousands of others who benefited by the inspiration that came from this place. As a Floridian, I am very proud of the long relation that Florida has had uh, to Cuba and uh, to Spain. We will soon be celebrating a number of those uh, anniversaries. Next year, we will celebrate the 500th anniversary of Ponce de Leon's arrival uh, in the United, what is now the United States, the first European discovery of North America. In three years, we will be celebrating the 450th anniversary of the establishment of St. Augustine. Uh, the longest continuously occupied city uh, in the United States. So there are many uh, relations that have shaped our city, uh, our state, uh, and our relationships. Uh, I am honored to uh, be a small part of restoring this very special place. Uh, I and my wife uh, are pleased to share with you tonight our friendship uh, with uh, a colleague uh, in the Congress with whom uh, I served, uh, Congressman Russ Carnahan of Missouri and his wife, Deborah, uh, a judge. Uh, the Congressman was here to speak at the annual uh, forum that is held uh, on behalf of the Truman Library uh, in his state of Missouri, uh, but uh, on more fundamentally on behalf of the legacy uh, of a very special man and uh, President of the United States. And I was very honored that they accepted our invitation to join us for this special event tonight. I close by saying that uh, Key West has attracted uh, many uh, people uh, with unusual qualities over its long uh, history. Uh, Jose Marti uh, and President Harry Truman uh, shared a lot in common. Uh, they were both uh, people who had uh, great self-confidence. They were undertaking decisions frequently that others recommended they desist from, but which they knew uh, would be in the long-term interest of the people. Uh, they were men of great personal courage. Uh, they were men who came from humble uh, origins and never forgot uh, where, from whence they had arisen. Uh, Key West helped to spark and maintain all of those qualities uh, in them, uh, and it does the same for us tonight. Thank you very much.